to um, to actually get this thing going in a in a county setting. Come on up. Just click it one more time, baby. Pick it up. There it is. Hey, there we go. There we are. There we are. <laughs> with the uh, Florida Federation of Garden Clubs. Not the been... best picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. to be approached by a group like this and, and the kind of support that we can provide to her. It's, it's intimidating, but it's also encouraging. So, and I have to tell you, being the last speaker of the day is intimidating, especially after I've heard all the professionals speak. So I'm not one of those professionals, but I want to just take a few minutes to tell you about Barton Clubs and how we have gotten involved and how we hope to continue to get involved the, um, back in 1976, Garden Club of Palatka, Florida, approached the Florida Federation of Garden Clubs about appointing a Bartram Trail Conference chairmanship. And it went regional. Deep South adopted the idea that is a um, six southeastern states. Uh, comprised of federated garden clubs, so they took the ball and they rolled with it. And beginning in 1980, Florida Federation of Garden Clubs began placing Bartram Trail historic markers in the state at various Bartram sites. And you saw some photos of the markers there in the previous slide. By 1986, 21 markers had been dedicated by Florida Federated Garden Clubs. There are more now. Obviously, we know there are 88. Uh, but that was good because the markers began awakening an appreciation of Bartram's lasting legacy. And consequently, Deep South Bartram Trail chairman got involved and became very proactive and a force behind forming the Florida Bartram Trail Conference. All thanks to the Palatka Garden Club who spark first launched in Florida the movement through the Florida Federation of Garden Clubs. Because many of Bartram's most exciting adventures happened in Florida, <laughs> And we're thinking of alligators and bears and wolves. Um, in 1986, the president of the Florida Federation of Garden Clubs encouraged the publication of this book, Bartram in Florida, 1774. Some of you may have not heard of it. It's very easy to read, and I don't think it's in print any longer. And then a few years ago, Sam Carr reactivated the Bartram movement in Palatka and asked the Garden Club to get involved. And club member Kalia Bellini, who I think is with us today via Zoom. Hi, Kalia. She reinstated the FFGC chairmanship and asked FFGC to join the Bartram Trail Society. And she currently promotes it through our state garden clubs and is encouraging them to become an affiliate. And I think we have 12 clubs maybe now who are affiliated. Um, and uh, my club, the Bartram Garden Club in Fernandina Beach is one of those. When my club was chartered in 2016, there was no doubt that we would be called the Bartram Garden Club because Bartram began his exploration of the St. John's River in 1774 by first setting foot in Florida at present day Fernandina Beach. So that was a legacy that we were very, very determined to preserve. And one of our earliest goals was to restore our Bartram Trail historic marker, which was originally placed in 1981 in Fernandina Beach and we did that, and last January, a year ago, we rededicated it, and Sam and Mike came up and gave a program to our guard club and helped us with the rededication. And because of their presence and uh, that presentation to our club that day, um, that sparked
sparked an interest within our club to extend the Bartram Trails in Florida to Nassau County. We are the last ones to come on board, but we're there. And um, we're in the process of placing the uh, Nassau County Bartram Trail signs as Dean told you about. And um, we're working with the city and county parks recreation directors to make it happen. And the city of Fernandina Beach, as Dean said, has already approved us to do this. And it was really easy. All I had to do was ask. I mean, it was just as easy as that. So, um, garden clubs have had a very, very positive effect, and um, it can happen. It can happen in Georgia. And the Florida Federation of Garden Clubs competes with Georgia really, really bad and hard. And I would like to challenge our, our Georgia garden clubs to step up to the plate and uh, become affiliated. And who knows? Darien could be Georgia's epicenter like Palatka is in Florida. So um, I just want to thank you for letting me brag a little bit about our garden club ladies. Don't ever un underestimate those little ladies. <laughs> we do more than you think we do. We don't just wear white gloves and hats anymore. We wear gardening hats and gardening gloves. So, thank you so much. For To give you an idea of how important the garden clubs were the formation of the Bartram Trail Conference, in 1978, the Deep South Region Garden Clubs wrote this in a letter to all of their members. It says, it's truly felt that the garden clubs of the Southern Region have provided the impetus, the effort, the seed money to get a tremendous project underway. Isn't that cool? Trails are unique to America, and when to the 2,500 miles of Oakley Trail have been constructed, it will become a permanent heritage for America, one that the garden clubs can well be very proud of having a part of and recreating. Isn't that neat? That's how they started this whole thing out and, uh, and helped form the Bartram Trail Conference and all that. We learned a lot about that back in, in, uh, in, in Montgomery. But, you know, uh, as for me and my house, we'll always be thankful for the garden clubs and the, and the ladies, as, as, as uh, Catherine terms them, ladies of means. <laughs>